Welcome to another little post-processing video in which we're going to focus again on Lightroom. First of all, what I show here, you can certainly do this in Photoshop. You can do it in a much more sophisticated way, but from time to time you have to work fast like I do on my travels currently. And then it's very handy if you can do such changes as I show now in Lightroom directly. And the change I'm talking about is called light bleed or some soft glow. What it's about is it helps you create more depth in the image and enhance light sources. And that's also the key. I think this effect works best if you already have some light source in the image or just outside of the frame, which you want to enhance or have bleed into the image. And you're not just making up a light source somewhere where there wasn't one. I don't think this looks very realistic, but if you have something to work with, like I do in this image, then I think this effect works very well. So actually, this image you might know already from the last video was taken on Madeira on a very stormy evening and I had those dark brooding clouds here and then some light here on the left side which creates a nice depth in the image. But here I already applied a setting or the trick I want to show you now. So let's go to an image I took just seconds before where I didn't apply this setting yet. And you see, same as in the other image, light's already in there, but it doesn't look as hazy and there's less depth in the image. So let's do the same setting now. And it starts with creating a new mask. And we're gonna use the radial gradient. And I just pull it up here in this area where the light's already shining through the clouds. And what I do now, same as in a previous video, I use the dehaze filter and I don't use it to dehaze. I use it to add haze, which I do by pulling to the left side. So you see this gets much more hazy in the background. And then I can add a bit of texture to counter it. I can create the saturation, basically playing around with this light source and creating much more atmosphere here in the background. I can make this more warmish. I shouldn't go too far, just creating a nice color contrast between this dark blue ocean and the light source here. Can fine tune this a bit move it around and basically I can create some interesting light here. Now to make it a bit more realistic, what I can do, I can add a subtraction mask. I click on the minus here and I select the luminance range. And what I want to do, I want to subtract this effect which I created from the darker tones. So for example here, the darker clouds and also a bit here, the dark areas of the mountains to keep those contours. So how do I do it? First, let's pull this right triangle and show the mask. So what's showing up red is basically the mask, which I now use to subtract from the radial gradient. Let's make it a bit smoother by pulling this over. And I think for this subtraction, it works always best if I don't show this luminosity mask and just do the subtraction. So you see when I pull this over, more and more of the darker clouds are no longer affected by the effect, by the dehaze. And when I make this smooth, I get a nice transition. And this way, I think this light bleed and dehaze is much more realistic because it really focuses more on the brighter tones in the image. So now I can also position it a bit more and let's do a quick hide of the mask. So you see the before and let's activate it again and the after. So obviously you can fine tune it, I could play around a bit with saturation, but that's the basic idea here. Now it's time for a second example, which is more of a light bleed. So basically light bleeding in from the outside of the frame. So this image was taken in Lisbon and it will appear in an upcoming video. And again, here I already applied the technique. First of all, I had beautiful light that morning coming in from the right side of the frame, but without the light bleeding technique, it looked more like this. So you see there's already light here at the side of the buildings. We have this beautiful sky. All in all, already beautiful image, but it's lacking a bit of depth and dimension. And yeah, let's just apply the same technique. Let's get here to the masks and add a radial gradient, which we're gonna make much bigger this time. So really pulling it outward. So this one here it covers nearly complete image. I put it outside. So it's really bleeding into the frame. So make this nice and big. And then the same settings. So basically adding dehaze, making it warmer. So like the sun shining in from the side. Adding a touch texture, increasing saturation, maybe some more dehaze. So you can really fine tune it, 
can also play around with the contrast. Let's see the before and the after, already quite interesting. Also now, again, let's try to remove the effect from the very dark tones. So basically those areas here in the buildings which are dark, which didn't get light before. Let's use the subtraction luminance range and again pull in from the right side and make it smooth. So something like this maybe. So really I want to show the luminance range. I don't want to remove the effect from too much. So this time I'm pulling much more to the left here. So it's really just reducing it a bit on the roofs here on the dark windows. And now I can fine tune it a bit to keep some detail here in the image. Now let's go back to the dehaze. Dehaze a bit more, make it a little warmer. You can also add some tint. I could even increase the exposure. And you see how easy it is to give this image some more depth and dimension. So let's see again the before and after. So let's hide it. Already nice image, but a little flat. And now with the light bleed already looks much more interesting. And certainly this is not where it would end for me. I would go in, do a little more detailed adjustments, refine it. What I could also do, I could pull this in Photoshop, use the camera raw filter to do this, and then use the masking features I have in Photoshop, which are even more flexible than what I have in Lightroom. But that's just the basics, something you can use to play around and see where it takes your images. Yeah, and I hope you found this interesting. If so, please leave a like, comment if you have other ideas how to use this dehaze. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.